so today I'm gonna be making some hamburger cups. What you're gonna need, a can of biscuits, pound of ground meat, I use ground turkey, you need some mustard, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, and an onion. And first we're gonna start off by putting the pan on medium heat. And after that's ready, we're gonna cook the meat first. So I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator. So my pan is getting to medium heat. I'm just gonna take some olive oil and drizzle that in, just a couple tablespoons. And while that's finishing getting warm, I'm going to grab a little cutting board and I'm gonna chop up some onion. So this recipe, I'll definitely write it down below as well, but it actually does not call for an onion. I got this recipe from my brother and sister-in-law, but they don't add any onion because my sister-in-law doesn't really like onions. This is definitely warm, so I'm gonna go ahead and plop that meat in. They legit did not have just a regular pound of meat at the store, so I got four turkey burgers, unseasoned obviously, so it's just ground turkey shaped in a burger. Cut all the onion cut up. Ground turkey is just bubbling away. I'm gonna wait just like a little bit longer on that until I add the onion to it, cause I don't wanna add the onion to the raw meat, to be honest. Now that my meat's looking a little bit more brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add all that onion to it. If you're not an onion kind of person, I don't blame you. I get it. Why? I thought why it was bugging you. But yeah, if you're not an onion person, I don't blame you. Just a lot of people aren't. It is a strong flavor. Also, quick tip with ground turkey, always add salt and pepper. Even if the recipe doesn't call for salt and pepper, add salt and pepper. We do not want dry turkey in our mouths, okay? Once this is brown, we're gonna add in all these other ingredients over here. But while this is finishing, in the meantime, you can go ahead and get out a muffin tin. Just get that ready off to the side. We're gonna get that prepped while the sauce like simmers with it. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit and to this we're gonna be adding it a half a cup of ketchup. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of yellow mustard, and then a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Just wanna give that a good little mixy mixy. Once this gets fully incorporated, you're just gonna let it sit there and simmer for a little while. To get these muffin tins prepared, you're gonna wanna get some Pam or any nonstick spray. Spray those things. You're gonna get your can of biscuits. What you're gonna do, you're gonna repeat this until you fill up your muffin tin, but you're just gonna flatten out your biscuit with your hands so it gets a little bit bigger. And then you just shove it in here so it creates a little cup like that. So all we're doing now is just getting a good, you know, a couple spoonfuls of this and just shoving it in these little pockets. You're just gonna repeat the same with all of these. Just know that these are gonna poof up a little bit, but at least still leave a little bit of room for some cheese to sit on top. Okay, and you're gonna have the oven at 400 and you put them in for 13 to 15 minutes. Now that those are out, you can just let them cool and they're good to go. Well, thanks for watching me cook some hamburger cups. Let me know if you try.